This is Reap. It's a uh, game made for Ludum Dare, uh, for which the themes were Grow and Two Buttons. And uh, these are the instructions. I've played it once before and I didn't realise that they'd incorporated the Two Button Instruction theme mm -hmm. thing. Uh, and so I played it all only using one hand. Uh, so you press one button to pick things up and then you can hold it down to uh, use that item. And uh, it turns out there's a second button which lets you pick things up in your other hand. So now I'm excited to try it with both hands. Because uh, it's gorgeous and super cute. Um, my food meter is on the right there and that's doing pretty well right now. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is use my spade to make some farmable land. And I'm going to plant at least two of these turnips, possibly all three. Oh, and I fell asleep from using my spade too much. <laughs> Basically, after you've done a certain number of actions, you just fall asleep on the spot, and that makes time pass, which is not a problem in itself, but of course it makes your food meter go down. Um, yeah, I'm going to plant at least these three. Oops. Turnips take a long time to grow. Um, like a week or something. Um, so, ah, map, great. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Oh, this is amazing. Got a good seed. Uh, I'm going to leave them all in the same place because it's nice to have just one home that you go back to. Um, and I think I'll just plant everything. And then, yeah, I've lost one segment of food there in the bottom right. And if you lose eight, you die. Um, losing eight energy does not really have any effect. The... Um, uh, size of the ring and everything is obviously just the time of day, uh, so it doesn't mean I'm near death or anything, it's just dark. And being able to see where you're going is um, sort of especially important for certain tasks. And uh, one of my favourite things is, how many more am I going to plant? Do I want to keep one uprooted? Might be a good idea to keep one uprooted so I can eat it. Um, I think not actually. I'm gonna just plant them all and then head off. I'll f hopefully find more out in the world. Oh, in fact, yeah, there's going to be enough for me to possibly take one with me. Okay, that's eight planted. That's lots. Um, this is a map. If I use it, I can see everywhere. And the cool thing about the map is you can see some like crosses marked on it, um, and those are thing those are things I want to get to. But where am I on the map? As far as I know, it doesn't mark you. And last time, I figured it out. You know, this looks very similar to the map I had last time. But it's not. So, I need to scout around while it's still light. And so, uh, I'm on a large, empty mass with some trees that join it to something to the northeast. Uh, it's actually very large. Oh, I'm at one of the fragments. That narrows it down. Okay, so it's a fragment that is on a narrow neck of land that extends up in two directions. So... I... Are there only four fragments? Because I can't see any of them that really look like that. <laughs> Could it be the top one? So if you haven't spotted them yet, they're kind of... Um, they're all on the left-hand side-ish. Uh, there's one at the top middle left, there's one at the far left, one a bit to the southeast of that, and then one a long way to the southeast of that. Could it be the one to the southeast of that? I don't know. And from the fragment, if I go straight up, I hit some trees and some sea. It's going to take me several days to find out where I am. Uh, okay, so it looks like it's probably the um, the sort of middle lower one. Trees, sea, stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, so I want to make a boat and go north to get the next fragment. Um, and am I hungry enough to bring anything with me? I think not. So I'm going to go as far as I can north. You don't really have to sort of like work during the day and um, sleep at night. You, like I say, you sleep pretty much whenever <laughs> it decides you're going to sleep. Uh, what I can't see in the dark is whether this is the sea or whether it's just a river. I think I'll... Um, Bash it through. Yeah, that looks like sea, I think. Okay, so I'm going to put my axe down, pick up a log, and use it to build. Oh, I think it's built a bridge rather than a raft. Um, in that case, I'm going to cut down this bit. 
I didn't mean to do that. There we go. That's a raft. All right. So now, do I have enough food to make it there? I'm pretty low actually, and I'm not seeing anything super good here. Um, I think I'm just gonna before I leave, go home and get some get a turnip. There's my fragment. Um. It's actually not bad having your stuff spread out a little bit because it increases your chances of finding the rough area of your home before you come back. I saw an extra turnip somewhere. Over here. To eat a turnip, you push it slowly into your face until it explodes. Much as in life. Uh, I've lost my boat now. Okay, it's this way. Alright, that wasn't really enough food, but it's all I'm going to get until the crops grow. I should have saved more of that stock to eat rather than plant. Because once they start growing it's easy to kind of multiply it, but if you don't live until then, that's not much use. So luckily I brought my map with me so I can check if I'm... Oh yeah, it should be super easy. I'll come to a peninsula covered in forest and then I should go west. So yeah, my favourite thing about the game is it doesn't tell you where you are on the map. You have to figure it out by just looking at the geography. There is There are higher difficulty modes where it doesn't show you where the shards are on the map, which are the things I'm trying to find. And that's all well and good, but then why even look at the map? <laughs> What's the point of it? It doesn't help you. Um, you just just manually go around everywhere. Hey, look, a turnip! Uh, brilliant. Let's push that into my face, for sure. Look. Have I almost gone past... Yes, okay, that's the fragment. Okay, so I've got to leave something behind, because you can only carry two things, and I can't really leave my map behind, so I'm going to have to drop the axe. Pick up the fragment get back to my boat, and then go south. Um. Piece of luck to find that turnip, actually. Now, I, I could stop off and get the other fragment, but then I'd have to leave my map behind, and that would only really make sense if it was the last fragment, in which case I would um, be able to hopefully rely on the new map. I've never assembled the map, so the things you're trying to find are fragments of a map. And that's all I know, really. I'm assuming they lead to a treasure, because one of the things you can do with a shovel is dig up treasure. Ooh, I'm in the danger zone of food. Well, not quite, but... Yeah, I thought that was a dead end. Uh, what does my map say? If I've hit that, I'm actually... No, this is the right place. I'm going to just hug the coast, go around into the sort of inlet, and from there... From here? No. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> If I could carry my boat across land, that would have been fine. Here we go. I'm home! And I can now drop that fragment on that fragment, and I've made some of the map. But, I'm really low on food, and I'm worried that my crops haven't grown. I should not have planted as many as I planted. Ah, they have! Brilliant. Okay, now I saw a scythe somewhere over here. Scythe. Reap me some crops. <laughs> just bash them with a scythe and they come out right out of the ground. Um, okay, I'm going to eat this one. I think I'm just going to eat them both. I don't think I can really afford to um, to fuck around. But I could go and get the last fragment on that amount of food, I think. Could I? Could I? I could redo it with a second axe. Food's going to be a problem. Without an axe, I can't really get through anywhere. And I can't... Can I afford to go all the way back and get the other axe? The axe I left behind? No, here's an axe. Great. Okay, now map says... If I go northwest, I'll hit that island. That's a very small island. There's not going to be a lot of food there. I'm actually kind of thinking about just going east to see if I can find some more food. Yeah, let's do that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. I can build a raft now, but it might be time to... Yes, I made the right call. Go back and check on my crops. So obviously what you can do is eat one and plant one, but I don't think I'm really in a position to do that. If I can get myself fed up that much, then I can um, I 
can afford to just leave. I'll go pick up that wood I already harvested. Pick it up. And build a new raft, even though I've already got one. Oh, and another one's hatched, I was going to say. <laughs> my turnips have hatched. Time to push them into my face. Um, I'm still not worried about running out of them to farm, because that's kind of a long-term thing. I will plant this one, though, just so that we have a crop next week. That's the wrong thing to take. Okay, so map. I go out of the inlet, and I go north west. I'm not in an inlet. Okay, I'm further south than I thought. So I, sh I should go northwest and kind of use the coast to judge my angle. Yeah, there's the, the headland. Alright, I'm going to go literally just northwest. Mm. Plenty of food. Well, not plenty, but as much as can be expected. Aha! Aha! <laughs> this looks promising! I've got to leave my axe bind again. Oh, there's no way around. Oh, I could have left my map behind, that's what I should have done. Last time when I was playing with one hand, <laughs> I um, uh, thought that I had to leave my map behind every time. Alright, can I survive without my map? Oh, it's tricky, it's tricky, it's tricky. Should I leave my axe? I, I literally can't survive without my axe, you can't get anywhere. So, I think I know where the last map piece is. And if not, just got to do a lot of exploring. Take a lot of turnips. If I eat two turnips and carry a turnip in each hand, <laughs> then in theory I can survive a decent amount of time. That's assuming that my crop yield is is plenty. Hey, I'm home. Okay. I'll land where I landed before, because that was a good place. It goes about here. Here we go, turnip crop. Alright, let's um, put the piece in first. I will move this a bit closer now. Oh, oh, I have to assemble it there, okay. Fine. Um, I could carry them all down one by one, of course. But I don't want to. Okay. This is plenty to be getting on with. I think I will just feed myself all of these three of these maybe and plant the fourth and then take my axe and my raft yeah and I'm gonna cross over to the landmass to the east and then from the landmass to the east I go it's sort of in the lower part of it so I have to hug the coast I think all the way down I could have set sail from the east coast I suppose but um, I don't know if how much time that would have saved? <laughs> Problem is now sailing at night. I don't even know if this is the right ladder mass. Is this the same one, or is it a new one? I think it was towards the south of the ladder mass. You guys can just skip back in the video and find out and make me look like a fool. More so than I otherwise would be. Um, I don't think I can sail a raft on a river. I can't. But this does look like the right area. Okay, there's a shovel here. If there's turnips here, that would be lovely. <gasps> there it is! Holy shit! I'm brilliant. <laughs> okay. And now I don't need to drop anything, do I? Oh, there's a turnip. I will push that into my face. Doing fine for food. This is going to be great. Man, I think I got really lucky with the navigation there. <laughs> I did not have a clear idea of where I was, but it totally worked. So I want to go north and east. North and east. I already have a spade, right? Yeah, I don't need to pick up that one that I found here. And when I get back, my turnip crop should be flourishing. And I think, I'm assuming when I get the, the treasure map, well, when I assemble the map, I'm assuming it's a treasure map, and then I'm assuming the treasure map leads me to a treasure that I dig up, and then, hey, I'm home! Um, and I'm not desperate for food, so I'll go and plant this first in the map, which is here. Da -da -da -da! doesn't play a song, so I had to play a song with my mouth. And now look at it. Oh no! Oh no! It doesn't give you a full map. It's just a little location. Oh god, I don't know where that is. 
I don't know where that is. Oh, fucking hell. Have I got to roam the whole world looking for that? If I did have the big map, could I recognise it from there? Probably could. That's quite a distinctive little bit of trees. It's all randomly generated, so that that's just sort of like chance that it happens to be somewhat discoverable. Okay, so I'm going to leave this map at home. I don't need to really, but I should because I think um, it's better to uh, have an axe than a map. Although I could take both, can I? Oh no, if I'm if I'm going to retrieve the map, then I this is my plan. I'm going to go and retrieve the map that I left up in the north. Um, and I don't have a map to get there with, <laughs> but um, that's okay. So I'm going to eat two, maybe eat three. Eat three, plant three. Oops, I missed. Okay, so I'm not going to take that. I'm just going to take a raft. I'm glad there's nothing else in the world to kind of steal your stuff when you're away. And then we come out of the inlet and head northeast. Mm. One of my many flaws as a gamer is that I cannot tell by feel whether I'm pressing up and left or just up or just left. Hey, but it did everything perfectly again. <laughs> Usually this game is fraught with more misadventure and um, screw-ups, but I've got really lucky here. Like if that wasn't exactly northeast, if it was, you know, north east east, it would be really hard to judge how long you're travelling. I have to say I think mostly think the game's art style is perfect, but I would appreciate some waves just to know whether I'm moving or not. That seems like a fairly fundamental thing that my character would know that I don't. Hey my god! <laughs> this is so okay. Um let's treasure map. Oh, I I could just put them in each hand, couldn't I? So, treasure map says it's a little kind of alcove forest next to a coast with a tiny nodule in the coast. And those, what do you think those lines are? Oh, they look like really solid lines, but I haven't seen those actually on the map. So, alcove forest near some coast. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Uh, no. Uh, alcoves of forest are fairly common. Could the thing be a river? No, that's definitely sea, isn't it? So it's definitely on the left-hand side of an island. You can't see any lines on the big map, so that doesn't help. Um, I'm on the left-hand side of an island. There is an alcove to trees to the north, but it doesn't really match it. Uh, what about... Oops, I was trying to look up on the map, but you can't. The very north island. Don't see any alcoves of trees like that. Pretty sure I've eliminated kind of the far left of the map. Oh wait, no, I, th I think I see it. I think I see it. I've forgotten where I am. Oh, I'm on the headland island. I think it's on the island just to the north of me. Um, yeah, I think it's just north. If I just take the boat out from, I should take a spade with me, shouldn't I? So I have to take the the main map and I'll leave the treasure map. Should I leave the treasure map? Does that sound wise? <laughs> no, I won't take the main map. Okay, leave my treasure map. Am I sure about this? I'm not too sure about this. Yeah. But it's time to eat some turnips and hunt some treasure. So first I'll reap some turnips. Should I just eat both of these? I think I will. Yeah. Gotta take a... Oh, fuck. I don't have a raft on that side of the island. So I think I've got a... Actually... I've got some spare logs, haven't I? Haven't I got some spare logs over to the left? When I made that bridge, I thought I... No, actually, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just made a bridge and a raft, and that's why I thought it... Okay, I'm just going to mine... <laughs> I'm going to mine some more trees. <laughs> that's how they say it in the agriculture industry. Mine some trees. Oh god, I'm falling asleep a lot. It's using up a lot of turnips. Give me a log, damn you! How many trees do you have to cut to get a log? There we go. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do, but I've taken I've taken the treasure map. I wanted the world map. No, no, I didn't. 
I do want to look at the world map though because I've lost my bearings. Okay, really it's just east and then I build a raft and I just go straight north. So um, I want to take a shovel with me eventually. But for now, I'll make a raft, which knocked me out. Great. And then go back and get the shovel. No more turnips here. Got to live off my half stomach. And then I just go north. Not here, is it? Oh god. Oh, that's not what I expected to find at all. <laughs> that's not what I expected to find. This makes it look like I'm... Oh, I don't know. This. This is it. That's it, isn't it? That's it. Hey! <laughs> and it just sort of fizzes. <laughs> do you think I'd do anything with that? It's not coming up as like a pick up item. I guess that's it. I think I, c I think I won the game. I don't think it has a sort of discrete end. I think that's just sort of the implicit objective. And you could hang around and farm more if you wanted. But I do not want to do that. That was awesome though. Um, it's free. It's I'll put a link in the description.